All right, everyone, here we are with ticker symbol BYFC. And before we jump into this chart, I do want to state some things. And that is, if you learn something new, subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, hit the like button to let me know you watched it and found it helpful. And comment down below any other information you may want to share with viewers and other investors that I may have overlooked. I always encourage that and appreciate that when you guys take your time to do that. And I definitely want to put that out there. You guys are more than welcome to do that. And as always, share this with your friends and community. Let's jump into this chart. So there's been a bullish run here, right? Since July 1st, um, it's brought itself from well above uh, $2 and some change all the way to 325 now Has it been there before? Yes, it has the last highest point was 338 So if you want to look in the short term 338 is the true resistance level that needs to be broken for this to continue a bullish run obviously and um earlier in the months and before the highest that it reached was seven dollars now that's a big gap but in the short term 338 is one of the key indicators of how much more bullish this can get but let's zoom in to some important things to pay close attention to the next trading day and that is the resistance level the resistance level is 325 that needs to be broken for the bulls to continue this run and they can go ahead and break through new resistance levels that is where this stock got rejected and it fell back down and it closed out at 319 so once that resistance level is broken i'm not saying that the bulls can keep themselves up here so if it is broken i'd keep a very close eye on it and see how it reacts because the bears can catch the bulls um you know off guard or catch them exhausted and that was like the highest point it could reach again and then the bears can tear it back down so that's something to keep a close eye on now if this is broken it could be used as support to continue the bullish run and break the new resistance levels on the other hand the support level is 287 um it's not that far from the closing price of 319 but if by any chance the bears are able to get closer to this and break through it it's not such a big concern until it breaks through the second level of support which is 265 because that's a lot closer to the 50-day moving average and the 50-day moving average is 240 why is 265 more important well this is the first support level and that could be broken slightly if the bears start to break this one down right it could be broken slightly and then the bulls can stock up on stocks and bring this one back up and save it back into bullish uh territory to work their way towards new bullish grounds right by breaking resistance levels but if that gets broken through and it falls closer to 265 and even breaks through it i'm not saying that the bears are winning or they've gained full control on this one but they're working their way towards gaining control because then they're not that far away from the 50-day moving average, which is very, very important. So I'd definitely write down 265. I'd write down 240, 50-day moving average. 265 is something to keep a very, very close eye on if it gets that bearish right throughout the chart. Even though it's still in bullish grounds, these are some key indicators of support you really want to keep an eye on. And the first level of support zoomed in and more focused on what's going on is 287. Your resistance level is 325. So this is going to be an interesting one to see how it plays out the next trading day. We're going to see how it goes. And as always, if you learn something new, subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button for me to let me know you watch this video and share this with your friends and community. And thank you.